So ever since I made a video about how focal lengths affect car photography, I've wanted to try taking that idea to its logical end point. I've wanted to shoot even longer just to see what happens. I love shooting cars at 200, so why not go further? So this is a Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. I'm not gonna tell you it's the greatest lens, but it's about $900 instead of 9,000 and I think it will work to show the effects of an extreme telephoto. If you're shooting action, you may need something more sophisticated, but today we aren't. We're shooting a static car and we're doing lots and lots of walking. I'm not promoting this lens. I'm not reviewing this lens. I'm reviewing the experience of shooting a car at 600 millimeters. I just wanna find out, is it noticeably different from 200? And is this difference worth the inconvenience and cost? So coming into this, my prediction was that I wanted to put as much stuff between myself and the car, really layering the composition in a way that you couldn't do with a 70 to 200. So that the viewer can tell right away that it is shot from a huge distance, even though the car is large in the frame. It worked. Um, I think you could probably get a similar effect at 200 millimeters. Um, there's potential here, there's, there's more to explore, but the layering wasn't as dramatic as I hoped for in the initial test. What I do like about it is how the background is so out of focus, it's almost like soup. All these ugly objects like telephone poles and signs just become colors and tones. So the next thing I tried was emphasizing the length and straightness of the road. What I found was working was not just the distance between myself and the car, but the distance between the car and the world behind it. If it had just been a wall behind the car, as you can see, it would have been a dull image. Dull in the sense that the lens isn't making a huge difference. But I had this long, straight, empty road. That downtown skyline behind me is three and a half miles from the camera. And what the telephoto does is it pulls that background closer to you. It shortens the distance and visually compresses everything in the scene. I really like this result. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything else I've shot before. So that's kind of what I was hoping would happen. The mirage, the heat rising off the pavement, uh, the undulation of the pavement are, are some cool dramatic effects that are really working for me. This flattens out the car more, like we talked about in the other video, but it's not gonna jump out of you as being wildly different from 200 millimeters. I always tell people not to have poles and objects behind the car, but when they become this fuzzy and distant, uh, they are just a texture and I really like it. So the verdict, let's go to the pros. Insane bokeh, bokeh. Bokeh. Potential for layered compositions. Useful background compression and mirages and heat waves, which I really like. The cons, it is heavy and bulky. This thing is 6.3 pounds, lots of walking. You need tons of space, uh, hard to keep the subject sharp. I should mention, I had tripods with me, but I ended up doing a lot of these shots with the camera directly laying on the ground. So a lot of them just weren't sharp. It's really critical that you focus on the part of the subject that you want to be in focus, because even at f6.3, the depth of field is really shallow. I had trouble with autofocus not being able to focus on the headlights because they were lit up, so I focused on a fender, and then when I looked at the photos, the badge, like the crest, was blurry. So this is a wildly impractical and ridiculous way to shoot a car, and if you don't find compositions that take advantage of the strengths, you're gonna get results that you could have gotten with any zoom lens. Ultimately, this is another tool and with anything, there's a time and place for when to deploy it. But if you wanna mix things up with your photography or you wanna challenge, this is a tool that will allow you to photograph common objects in an uncommon way. If that interests you, give it a try. Just uh, rent one and see if you can find more dramatic uses for it than I have. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, uh, subscribe, whatever. I appreciate the comments. Tell your friends about this channel and I'll see you next time.